in this session we'll be discussing about how reproduction takes place in lichen so when you talk about lichen reproduction there are basic uh, reproduction method the very important is fragmentation so fragmentation what would happen in fragmentation the fungal partner and the algae partner some fragments will be breaking and each of these fragments will be giving rise to the new lichen two important structures in lichen reproduction are isidia and sauridia which are as an exam so isidia are small outgrowth you can look this outgrowth right you can you can you can talk about this outgrowth these all outgrowth so there's a small outgrowth they are basically to increase the surface area but they are also responsible for reproduction in lichen they are doing this particular you know morphology because they have they want to increase the surface area but what can also happen because these small outgrowth you can see these green green dots so these green dots are actually the algae partner sitting inside and this this covering is because of the fungus so these are called isidia they are the small outgrowth of the thallus in which you will have the fungal hyphae and the phycobion means the algae cell and these isidia separates then they will be separating the time they will be separating wherever they will be falling will be giving rise to the new lichen when you talk about sauridia sauridia are small powdery granule why am i using this powdery word it's because of the fungus fungus always grows in cottony or powdery colonies now it consists of few phycobion means algae partner and surrounded by fungal hyphae Sauridia are produced inside the sori and these sori are called pustules and this is the most efficient mode for reproduction so remember these two structures called isidia and sauridia those are responsible for what you call the reproduction in lichen so in next session we'll be discussing about the economic importance of lichen